So, what I can tell is for getting to know these hoes, Kiafa and the Chambers chick don't get along. She pregnant, I'm guessing. Chamber chick set with somebody, man, and I'm confused watching these show. I'm confused watching this show. Y'all stick with me. I'm trying to still learn these people's names, but I don't like Kiafa. I still don't like her. She got a little stink to her, and she got to have a whole crew of her light shining. That made me double dislike her ass. Now, Kiafa, and you gonna hold her to a high standard. You got to hold your tired ass to a standard, too. You entertaining her getting loud, and she just as loud as she getting loud. So how you gonna tell her to stop doing what she doing, and you getting loud and crunk with her, too? Now, Kiafa, you gonna hold her to counter that ass? You hold the counter to your ass, too, because your ass ain't squeaky clean, neither. You gonna tell her how she should act, and you get loud and crunk with her too. And so is your little minions. Kiafa, stop it. Okay, Geneva, talk all the shit you want to. If she did sleep with your husband or not, you trying to say she nasty and who want to sleep with her? Your husband. He slept with her. So while you trying to be cute, trying to throw shade at her in the confessional, you look dumb for entertaining the situation. Because now you throwing shade in her direction if she did step with your husband or not. Why? Another thing. Why would you want that out there she slept with your husband? What is that entertaining you? And why is that benefit? you. That just shows us your husband is a cheater and look like you okay with it. So I'm not understanding why you keep on saying this and why you think this is cool and this is not that this don't look bad on you neither. You lost him with that shit. Karina, Car whatever her name is, throwing the drink, the th drink throwing him off of. Why would you throw a drink at a pregnant woman? Don't you know that's called the salt, whether you filming or not? So ain't none of you hoes got no manners then, basically. Kiafa telling somebody how they should act, but yet she getting loud and crunk with all the one chick that slept with another husband and she want everybody to know about it, like that make her look good. We got this silly bitch throwing drink at something that don't need much involved, her, but I guess she want to be noticed too. So basically, y'all just basketball-wise all over just a different name, basically. That's what I'm summarizing up on episode two. Y'all hoes ain't no better than basketball-wise. Because I'm seeing basketball-wise all over again, just with a different name. Really, chicks? <sighs> you do need to be beat down for that one, whatever your name is. Miss Drink Throwing Hell for and I agree, Miss Ch Miss Chambers. When you have your baby and your body here, drag about her roots, drag about her legs, drag about, drag that hoe, drag her off for a clip. She deserved that one. Now I love to see fights on reality shows, but not against a pregnant woman. Now Carmina, that was fucked up on your point. Now you do need to be punched in the face or at least check for that shit, and you need to apologize because you ain't had no dog in this fight. So what the fuck you throwing drinks and pregnant women? Carmina, you a low down dirty trick. Um, that's all I'ma say about that one. So now you trying to justify throwing that drink in that woman face? I appreciate y'all for checking her for that, telling her she was fucking wrong for that. However, y'all can't blame Miko's cause she decided to bring this girl. It ain't not her, it ain't Miko's fault or whatever that lady name is. That Miss Chambers don't know how to act and Miss I slept with your man don't know how to act. So you gonna get mad at one bad apple decided to buy another bad apple cause she don't This show gonna give me a fucking headache before it's over. How key offer you don't care about your life or your baby? You sit up there arguing with a high-risk pregnancy, arguing over some dumb shit, and you can basically die if something go wrong because the stuff people are due for a little bit of exposure in the paycheck. Key offer, you got a high-risk pregnancy and you know this, but yet you on the roof being arguing and petty arguing with bitches. I have no words for you, Kiafa. The more I see you and the more scenes I get to try to know you, the more I dislike you. Now, you should have walked your ass away when you seen this argument was getting worse and you knowing what your pregnancy is and knowing how your body is and know what happened. 
you should have had the common sense and decency to walk your ass off that rooftop and take your ass home and relax and put your goddamn feet up. But you decided to sit there and finish the scene and sit there and be petty and argue on with the... Kiyah, forget your ass off this show. What the hell kind of ratchet ass baby shower gifts these ass rocks? I can go outside and get her some rocks for free and I don't need much know her. Really? Now, girl, I know y'all sitting on some money and all you think about is some healing rocks. Them part of them little rocks that, that you know how you put on some healing kind of rocks and on rocks that got pop. Them probably them rocks, but still, y'all could have got a better gift than that. Now, come on now. Y'all got money now. That's the best you can think to give you. I ain't gonna need much question that you know better than I do, and she don't need much like the gifts. I'ma leave that one alone too. Miko's, and you waiting for Key Offer to say sorry for her friend throwing that drink on that pregnant woman face. You got another thing coming, and you expect more out of Key Offer than we well, I think of Key Offer. You yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Maybe a chilly day in here, maybe a rainy day in here, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. So here we go meeting a video, Vincent. And the first name of celebrity she called is Puff Daddy. We gonna leave that with a name alone in general. But Chris Brown and Rick Ross, yeah, you got some poor there. As for Puff Daddy, you could have kept that name off your list of celebrities or video you was in, cause yeah, how much did you get paid? Did he even pay you? Because I heard he's another one that like to skip out on his bills. He like to do a Tamar on that ass. So did he actually pay you or no? Nah? Just gave you exposure. Oh, so this is why we're getting introduced to this woman. So apparently she did a Masika. Unfortunately, the man ain't claiming damn child. So now she want us to be entertained by her crying because he won't pay her any attention and want us, the viewers, to give a fuck about her. Girl, I got nothing for you, nothing at all. You did a Masika. I didn't feel sorry for her, and I'm not going to feel sorry for you, whatever your name is. So, Mikos, you coming off as messy, too. You inviting girls. No, she got beef with other girls, but you inviting in the other people at events. Why? For they can show their ass, and you can do something that you... I'm confused, Mikos. Now, why would you invite this new girl to an event knowing that she don't like a person now? For she can fight her too, and you sit back and watch and judge the offer. What is your deal, Mikos? Because now, you coming off that messy and shady doing stuff, and you know this ain't right, right? So, I'm going to see I'm not going to like you neither, Mikos, and I kind of like you a little. Oh, so we meet the new girl, and apparently she got a hush baby, and somebody for the mention this hush baby. We supposed to give up about somebody we just met 2.2 seconds now. I'm supposed to give a fuck about her for the fight somebody. Okay, baller wise, you exhausting the shit out of me just like basketball wives. Oh, say so Kristen and Emily have the problem, and of course, Emily fucked Crystal, man. Again. Don't know these two hoes to judge them. We just finna see another fight that we know nothing about, no background story or nothing. Uh, we know we just finna get into this fight that we supposed to care about. And we just met these hoes just two scenes ago. And this makes sense how... Oh, so you are messy, huh, Miko? Her boyfriend, her husband don't like you. He said you don't do nothing. You irrelevant. So you breaking hoes on here to start shit with Kiafa and her crew. Cause oh, it make perfect sense now why you breaking these hoes on here to start fights with the Kiafa and the other girls. Cause you got an issue, and that issue rubbing you the wrong way, and you want to get rid of that seven year, that seven seven day itch. Okay, I got you now, Miko. So you is a messy hoe. Okay, Miko. Oh, girl, shut up, and we don't care if you're a homewrecker or not. Here you go stirring the shit. Now, girl, I see you being messy, too. If you can't talk like Miko's talking to the girl that so-called husband got her fired, then you need to keep your goddamn mouth shut unless you want to start some shit. I see these messy helpers. They showing their head on the second episode. Y'all was hiding under the damn shades in the 
dresses and all that. No, y'all just ran y'all ugly heads. Mm-hmm. I see you. Now you want to start some shit. Are you scared that that girl... I really don't care about girl. It's... Okay, girl, give your shot. Give your little 10 minutes of fame. Go ahead, girl. Go on ahead. You're going to give it to us anyways. And another thing, why is it affecting your life that she did this or didn't do this and now you mad in your confession and now you want to talk? I don't understand why y'all hoes getting mad. I mean, if it don't bother you and it ain't affecting your life, why bring it up? Why start the shit? Even though we like seeing the shit, but the way y'all bring up the shit, like, time you mean, oh yeah, I got to confront this hoe. Let me go confront her, but... This show ain't making no sense. I'm kind of understanding it not a whole lot, but I'm kind of understanding it. But, girl, this shouldn't affect your life, but since it's affecting your life, go on ahead and spit it on out, I guess. Okay, now I understand. She talked about your kid. Yeah, I'll beat that whole head in. But you got to make sure she the one that said it and not her friend. Now, I'm with you on the... Don't talk about my child in the hush, baby. Yeah, I'll be the whole head in, too, if she talked about my child. But like she said, her friend said that she don't know nothing about you. I ain't getting into it because I don't know now one of y'all. But get y'all arguing over a man in the who call who, baby, a hush, baby. But trying to find a fuck for it, but I can't. Okay, Mikos, now you taking this shit too far now. You heard this from your child. You running and going with your child said carrying his bone over to the mother, telling her about her child and her child and her mama saying, I never received a call that my son got in two fights. I never got a call that he was in timeout. Where are you hearing this from? So you here taking lies from your son Carrying a bone to Aja, telling her not here, bitch. This is what they're saying about your son. Huh? Miko, you come across as a nail, and I don't appreciate that. I think you lying about that. Even if it is true, there's a place for everything, and this is not the place. Even though y'all is having a private conversation, you taking the shit too far now, Miko. I'm seeing your nasty side, and I'm not liking it, not one bit. Okay, now, Aja, you get what you deserve. You inviting Messi on. I mean, yeah, Aja, you get what you deserve. You inviting Messi Mikos to your party. And you seeing she carrying little children bones to your face now. Now, she starts some shit at your party. You get what you deserve. Because you invited the Messi here for your event. So, I'm not going to feel sorry for you if she show her ass at your party or your event or whatever the hell you calling it. <sighs> Mikos, you on my shit list now. You really up here grilling this little boy about who to be friends in. And remember mommy told you about that boy mama that me and him don't get up, me and her mama don't get along in. Mikos, you coming by the messy bitch now. And I can't I, I can't be friends with you anymore. The fact that you grilling this little boy about this little boy mama and talking about some I don't like his mama and you mm mm. Mikos, bye. Goodbye to you. You a messy helper for that shit. Why do you care so much, Mikos, that he don't like you and he think you're irrelevant? And why is that affecting your life, girl? You really want this apology, huh? His word and his, his words and his opinion really bother you and really hurt you to the core, huh? Girl, you need to get you a life and his little one opinion affecting your life like this. Oh my gosh, get over yourself, Miko. How does she come at you and confronting you when you bring up the bullshit? She defending herself. Now your cowardly ass feel attacked because you started this shit and she defending herself because she got a group of women around her when you do. Mikos, you got to find your life, sweetie, and maybe some dick in your, and maybe some dick in your life, perhaps, because you give a fuck too much about too many damn opinions, and they are like assholes, and you shouldn't, but you care too much. I don't know if this your character or not, but honey, and all, seriously, you care a little bit too much what people think about you, and then play victim when you started the shit, now you mad, because she confronting you, and all the people chiming in, telling you how messy you sound and look. And now you want to play girl by me, cause.
Oh, thank God that it's over. Now you telling your husband lies. Now here come Channing, the one you got the main issue with. And let me guess, the man for the start arguing about the fight now? I can't with you, Miko. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. I'm going to get the like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.